everybody. How's it going? Haven't been here in a while, have I? Uh, still going through footage from Bucket and Morgan coming. Um, I think you guys have seen most of it. Today's video, I had something, I had something different planned for today's videos, friends. I'm looking around. We've all misplaced something. I had a bag, friends. I had a bag that I ordered right before uh, Bucket showed up. I, I ordered a bag of parts. There was some machinist tools, fuel line for my uh, 038 Magnum, the one we're doing for Fab Willie, and a couple other little things. It was in the back of my truck, friends. I took it out and I put it in somewhere. I can't find it, friends. I've been looking for that bag. It's a black bag. I've been looking for that bag all morning, friends, and I can't find it, so... Hopefully it turns up or I'm going to have to reorder. Uh, I was going to get Fab Willie's 038 Magnum up and running, but the fuel line for it is sitting in that bag. So <laughs> hopefully it turns up. Anyhow, friends, I have some cool footage today. Really excited. As you guys know, uh, I'm friends with the Iron Horse, Mr. Harv. Good morning, Harv. And friends, I was really, really excited to run a couple of his power saws. Being a saw porter, builder, whatever you want to call me, I'm just a guy that messes around with saws in his shop. Um, those of you that have been here for years know that. I'm just a, I'm just a fella hanging out in his shop, making saws go fast. But I was dying to run a Harvey Ice saw. Um, every time Buckin runs a saw, typically, it's if he's doing a falling job, he's typically running an Iron Horse 371 or 372. So. Here's a, here's a few shots of me running a Harvey Ice saw, the 371. Okay. Anyway, Tin Man, did you want to try a saw? Yeah, just get, that's an iron horse saw. I know you haven't really run the 372 a lot. I think that's all just fire up. That's hard wood. I don't know what it is. Tin Man don't even know, but I set I that know. freaking chunk up over there. I think it's ash. What well, it might it be? It could be white oak though. It's not, it's not oak. oak. It is not oak. So? No, oak leaves are different than that. Uh, I don't know what it is. Yeah, like this is, see, that's all oak right there, right? All that. Yeah, you can tell that's oak. That's it's got stuff, the, that stuff's hard. But this yeah. stuff's, this stuff's pretty hard. Whatever this is. Elder, so, I, I don't know. I, I think so. I wish you, you got to learn your tree species, but. No, I don't. Okay, you don't. I just cut them down and burn them. Okay. Some are stinky, some are sweet. I'd like to, I mean, that's a horrible, we smashed a piece of steel with that chain, but you know what? I had a, a, a square file and I just got it cutting again. That's not good. Doesn't what need a choke. Does where it? did it go? I don't know. I don't know what we did. Oh, when we took the car. Yeah, but where did it go? Well, I, don't recall, I don't recall it being there, but maybe it won't. Oh, it's there. Oh, look. No. Oh, Mama Deer. Oh, Mama Deer's out Where's there. The baby? Yeah, she's out there in the field there. Okay. Sorry. Oh, just uh, just play with that and see if it'll even cut. I, I, this could be embarrassing. Uh, it might be. It might <gasps> be. saws forever and I still run my walker ice saws but when I met Iron Horse he said he could build me a power saw and he said you know I don't build these kind for too many and I went okay but anyways he built us he built power this thing feels pretty nice. yeah, he, yeah. He, he builds power there's a little switch on the side there
this pipe too? Something's the matter with it. It's crazy. It's making that saw go mad. This this pipe. This is uh this is a deadly combo. That's Mark. You try it. You should try it. That would <laughs> It's not cutting that good because of that steel we pounded yesterday, but it's adequate to get you through those last couple cuts on a on a tree you're doing or something. But I would change that out. That one we had on yesterday was El Bonzeroni. Hey, thanks, buddy. Thank you. That was awesome. This is fun. Oh yeah. Iron Horse. Harvey. Hey. Look at that. Harvey. Yeah, That's why we got to run one. Yeah, it's exciting for this Tim. This thing's man. a beast. I could. It's. Yeah. It gets on the pipe right now. On the pipe. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on that. I've never run one of Harvey's saws. That'll be the first time. Uh, I've been friends with Harvey for years. You can hear his saws bring power. And uh, I've always assumed, and uh, that's the thing, you can only make an educated guess, right friends? I've always assumed that Harvey's saws must bring power to the table because Bucking runs them all the time. Well, my assumptions were correct, friends. The Harv, the Harvenator makes power. And uh, you can feel it. His saws are strong. Um, I ran two of his saws while while Bucking was here. Very strong. His uh, that three seventy one in that video was uh, it's it's strong. It's it's very strong. Very broad power curve, and uh, just just an easy to live with saw. A good falling saw. Um, I'm sure you could build a hotter saw, but it's like that thing was pretty warm, but it was warm in a way that, you know, it's a hot rod that you can drive to the corner store, um, which is the perfect kind of hot rod, right? So good job, Harv. Uh, definitely, you definitely build a strong saw and it seemed to be a reliable saw. When I started that saw every time, it was one pull and away it went. So, okay, friends. So. The probably the most exciting thing the whole of the whole trip was um Buckin brought Harvey's 266, the original Iron Horse 266 that Harvey ported and Buckin ran on his channel. This is going back probably a couple years, friends. I remember seeing that saw. Um uh Buckin went to go help Hogan and a couple of Hogan's buddies. They were doing a big job and they needed a man to buck up a bunch of wood. So Buckin rolled in there and ran that saw. Okay, so I asked Bucky to bring that saw and he, of course, he already had it in his truck. He knew, he knows what I want to run. Um, I was like a kid in a candy store, friends. Um, that, I build 266s all the time. Uh, that one's a 272. That's a strong, strong saw. In fact, friends, I don't think I've built one that's as strong as that, and I will say it. Um, I I uh, I tend to build two sixty sixes. My seventy twos are strong, but I think that one was stronger. And I'll say it, friends. I think the most important thing you can do as a builder is be honest with yourself. We all don't build every saw, you know. Um, we don't, friends. Every builder has saws that they build really well. Some that are okay. And maybe some they don't like doing. That is completely normal. And I'll say it, friends. Uh, my 72 builds are not as strong as Harvey's. And my uh, my finger dyno tells me everything I need to know. Okay, friends. So throw some clips in here. Of the other night, Buckin and I went to go buck up the rest of that firewood. And we both rolled in there and we both had major saw issues. To the point we shut them down, hopped in my truck and got out of there. The mosquitoes were eating us alive, friends. And uh, that was it. We both had saw issues. I had Harvey's 266. Bucking had my Super Pro 70, my uh, my 70cc Mac that I built for him. Now, it was funny, friends. We both thought maybe we have bad fuel. I just bought a fresh tank of fuel. Uh, what did I buy? I bought 90, I think it's 93 octane from Shell, ethanol free. 
the good stuff, all right? I had a special buddy coming, so I figured I'm going to buy the good stuff. Well, friends, um, I thought it was gas, and so did he. We shut our saws down and went back. Okay, here's a clip of us running saws and both struggling. You can hear it. The 266 is lean. The 70s is all over the place. It's lean, it's rich, it's popping and farting. It's the only thing I I'm can think. I'm freaking out here, dude. We better. We need to. I'm not gonna run anymore. No, neither am I. I don't. Uh, I don't understand that. I'm. Uh, okay, friends. So both saws had similar conditions. Uh, they didn't want to tune. They were having issues. Um, same symptom, different problem, friends. So let's get to let's get to the Super Pro 70. Okay. I assembled that saw that morning. Uh, I threw it together. Everything seemed to be okay. Now that saw had a little bit of a funky fuel line in it when I originally built it. Um, same funky fuel line, so I put that on there. Didn't seem to leak or do anything too untoward. Um, but the main thing was, when I took that saw, McCullough's have that plate. There's two screws and a plate, and the plate is like an anti-splash you know, spit back device and it covers the carburetor. Okay. Um, Buck and show me an old school trick. You drill holes in that. So we usually drill holes in those now, or at least I do. Um, it helps with airflow. And when you're priming them, sometimes Macs need a little squirt to get going. When you prime a Mac, you can just, the carb straight up and down right into the intake. You can usually just stick it in the hole and give it a little squirt. So I did that to Buck and, uh, to Buck and saw there. Um, because when I built that, I didn't know that move, right? I'm, I'm still learning the max, friends. When I put the saw back together, I guess there was a little burr where I drilled a hole. The burr was holding the choke partially on. Okay, Tin Man. So I think um, I just noticed something on this. This this thing's not running right. I don't know if it's the carburetor or what's going on. But uh, 
this is this is a new gas line it was leaking it was broken so i replaced the gas line this is the 70. this choke see how the choke is not going all the way in i think it's hitting on a burr right there i just i just looked at it i don't know for sure but i'm going to check it out so what was happening was bucking was tuning around the choke being on and then he was having to lean it out so much that it was running lean and then it was hesitating and dying so I thought it was funny. I put a new spark plug in that saw that night and it cleared up and it ran fine in the yard here. We, uh, we cut some wood with it and it was fine. So, um, then when he got home, he said, there's something going on here again. And it was, it was the choke. Okay. So that's that problem. Harvey's 266. Um, it was having some fueling issues when Buck and got here. Now, Remember friends, I'm at a different elevation than him. We tend to have carburetor issues between the two of us. When I send saws to him or he sends saws to me, it definitely, it can throw off the carbs and it can also, a tuning issue can rear its head more or less depending on the elevation, right? I'm at a higher elevation than him slightly. So I rebuilt the carburetor on Harvey's saw and I put a new gasket in between the intake and the um cylinder because those tend to leak right uh that one had an oem gasket i didn't see anything wrong with it but i thought i'll put another oem gasket and call it a day put the saw back together uh the saw ran fine then when we went to put it in the wood i couldn't get that saw to tune properly it was either too rich or too lean well what ended up happening friends i had a buddy ask me this question so you have your diaphragms your carb diaphragms right on your pump side not your metering side your pump side the carburetor as it was had the rubber diaphragm down and it had the the fiber diaphragm on top of it now i had a guy ask me that the other day is whether i do that now friends i usually only use a single diaphragm some people use two diaphragms i don't know what the correct answer is friends so i reassembled the carburetor exactly how it was Okay, when we went to run the saw, it was having fueling issues. Like it was kind of lean, stumbly. So what did I do, friends? I took, I, I went to what I know. What do I know is the carb kits I use generally, all pretty much all the time, run perfectly with a single diaphragm. So I put a single diaphragm back in the carb and the saw ran perfect after that. So goes to show you, friends, sometimes the less you know, the more you know. Um, Sometimes power saws are going to give you trouble. That doesn't mean it's a bad saw. Just that's what it was. Bucket and I were laughing. We have both never had two saws act up on the same day. And we were, we were giggling driving home because it's like the more, you know, the less, you know, friends. Anyhow, I think that's all I'm going to throw in this video. This is a 266 that you're going to see on the channel. That's coming up. I do have a little more footage from the trip, um, that I'll throw in here or there, but, um, what a great time, and I'm really happy that those guys made the, the trek here on the way back. Anyhow, friends, um, if you haven't already, go over and check out the Iron Horse. Um, Harvey's one of the original YouTubers that showed porting on YouTube. Um, the reason why I started my channel was because of Harv years ago. Um, uh, I like what he does. There's no BS on his channel. He's an old boy and he's been doing this forever and he does things the way he does them. Uh, and, and I like that. Um, and he's also helped me a lot, friends. Without, without the Harv, there would be no Tin Man. And that's the truth. I always give props to those that have helped me over the years. And Harv is definitely one of those guys. Um, you know, but it's funny, friends. He, he taught a lot he taught me a lot of the porting stuff that I know and timing numbers and that our saws run totally different that's what's funny friends so it just goes to show you that um, just because you use the same timing numbers the same grinding uh, tooling all that stuff it doesn't mean your saws are gonna run the same um, it's the man who built the saw generally there's little nuances that we all do that make our saws run different that we probably don't even think about i know i sure don't so anyhow go check out the iron horse chainsaw uh, on the youtube he's a good fella and lots of like just harvey's channel is packed full of good knowledge especially if you build 372s or 266s um 
Harvey's got tons and tons of good, useful uh, info on those saws. Anyhow, friends, I'm going to keep looking for that bag that I lost. I know it's here. It's driving me nuts. Um, yeah. I bought some tooling and some 038 Magnum parts, and of course, I can't find them. <laughs> oh, well. Anyhow, friends, thanks for watching. Take her easy. Later.